Ordis has received me- Tenno, vast numbers of Grenier ghouls are breaking ground near Cetus. Konzi requests any assistance you can provide. Interesting. Operator, Ordis has been thinking. Now that you are here in the flesh, we should make the Orbiter more comfortable. Sounds good. Ordis has identified an old storage space you could use. Stand by while I- Torch this junk! Dispose of my old belongings. Out with the old and in with the new, right, Operator? Construct this domestic habitation segment to extend life support to your new room. I mean, thanks, buddy, but you'd have to torture stuff. <laughs> all right, so I've been hearing all about this. It's now time to go check her out. Here's our new room. Huh? Let's put on. This is, you know, this is a, this is a special, it's a special time. Let's put on a, a special, special warframe, shall we? How's that? Liking it. I'm actually scared to go in this room, to be honest. I almost don't want this part of the quest to start. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait. Do I have to build it? Oh, my God. I need Tellurium? No, really? Oh, God, no. Where do you get that? So here we are getting some Tellurium. Fucking fantastic. Oh my god, please, can I have a piece of Tellurium? Why are you doing this to me today? It's like, I don't understand. The longer you fight, the more successful we will be. All right. Now that we finally got the tellurium we need. Wow, what a bitch. 12 hours? Oh my god, are you kidding? <laughs> hey all, Siege here. And although it usually sucks that PC gets stuff before consoles, and really this time is no different, it does allow me the opportunity to have had some prior insight into the apostasy prologue, given that there was no way I was going to be able to keep myself spoiler free this long. Anyway, now that I've essentially gotten the feel for it, I wanted to throw some insights your way that we've discussed during stream about the implications of this, and more importantly, who exactly walked away with Ballas? But first, I wanted to show you my reaction and observation during the brief quest itself, and after we'll get deeper into speculation. Enjoy. And we're back. So, now that we got our special piece, we got it here, we got our personal quarter segment. Your habitation segment is complete, and the new room is ready. Or this cannot contain his excitement. Will you go there now, operator? Will you? Oh, I'm headed there right now, Ortis. I'd have been there yesterday if you'd have let me. Just pulled my fresh new Mirage Prime out of the oven for the occasion. She's got her little vape going. Vape Nation. All right, let's see what this is all about. I kind of have an idea already what's about to happen. Ooh, look at my fish tank. Can I put some fish in here? Look at that. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, this is that new Soma Cord. But I can't do anything because I don't have any. I'll have to find this. It looks pretty cool though. Okay. So now we're going to do the thing. So it's definitely, you can see, that's that's definitely like a little hologram of Lua. Alright. Let's touch it. Here we are. That's a good thing that you don't have to shoot anything here. Can you go across there?
been here enough times, haven't we? Very interesting. I took this straight out of the Octavia quest, huh? Hear the singing of this is what we are, this is who you are, the song. No, I can't. Can't or won't. Isn't that where the Margulis or the Ballast Head or whoever? Yeah, look at that. It's tough to see though. View of the face there. I told you not to speak out. If you recant, maybe You lied to me, Ballas. You're, you're no different than the rest of them. Here we are. Oh, where the transference pod was. Which one's ours? Alrighty. Let's go to the deep dark. So this right here, which we didn't know, was always where the lotus was hidden. sentencing of Archimedean Margulis. You face the Jade Light. Recant, and we will grant our merciful death. My daughters, my sons, I want you to know my last thoughts are of you. This is the area where the Lotus lives. It's always been in the moon. Crazy. We've been so close to her so many times and yet didn't even realize it. Have we waited for this moment? I give me. For what? I am not who you think I am. But of course you are. Imprisoned, just as she was. Abandon you again, Margulis. No, oh, it's a creepy hand. took her. But she went willingly. Very willingly.
So first, I think we can put to rest the idea that Ballas is the man in the wall. Although right up until now, I did think it was a slight possibility. However, there's really no connection between the two, even in appearance. Although their eyes are blank, one has a bit of a red hue while the other's eyes are purely white. Also, they don't share the same voice either in almost any quality. Ballas retains his soft, gentle voice and the man on the wall continues to use a disjointed form of Rell's voice. And considering how often some of us have been visited, wouldn't he have at least acknowledged us when we were all in the same room together? I know there are some of you out there that still believe this, but I'm almost convinced at this point that they are two different entities, Ballas and the man on the wall. The Lotus even barely seems to notice Rell's existence during the Chains of Harrow quest, and yet that's Ballas' former lover? Eh, I don't know. It's losing steam in my mind. However, something that would make that a little more believable is the thought that we actually aren't here during this quest. I mean, we're here, but we're not here. Why doesn't anyone in the room even acknowledge us? Is the fact that this orb sitting in the back of our new quarters to be retrieved whenever the hell we could get our hands on Argon Crystals and freaking Tellurium suggest that this is all just a recording? And if so, did the Lotus bring us here specifically to see it? It appears that way at least. So the next question is, why? During stream we discussed the idea that maybe Nata is the helmet or even the contraption that the Lotus is sitting in and that the woman we see walking away with Ballas is actually Margulis herself. How is that possible? Well, we never actually see or get an acknowledgement of her death in the lore, merely that she's set to die. We also know that Nata had infiltrated the Orican stronghold in an original attempt to destroy the Tenno, but then something happened at that point and suddenly there's no more Margulis and there's no more Nata, just the Lotus. With mind you, the purpose of Margulis and the power of Nata. Could it be that Nata could have crossed her cell before finding the Tenno, struck up a conversation, and decided to join together willfully to protect the Tenno? I mean, after all, how did Nata figure out what had happened to the children in the first place, especially with emotional context? Maybe Margulis just told Nata. What if... They've always been two entities willfully joined together, bound by a common thread, the protection of the innocent and revenge. When I try to deconstruct a story, I don't generally try to fill in the blanks of what I haven't been given so much. Rather, I notice what the writer chooses to willfully offer us. And with that, here is where I feel apostasy is headed. First, as I mentioned, no one notices us. We're sitting right there and not a word is said. That just strongly leads me to believe this is just a recording, one we were meant to see. Second, notice the dialogue in the first portion. You lied to me, Ballas. You're, you're no different than the rest of them. We're being shown that Margulis feels betrayed by Ballas. Why show this? Well, there's a saying most men and even some women know all too well, and it goes something like this. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And this woman is being put to death by the man she loves. Think she's pissed? Would you be? Feel betrayed? Want some vengeance? Women never forget. Things will never be the same between these two for something like this. And remember, Nata's very purpose was to destroy the Orican in the first place. You wanna know what I think? I think these two ladies got together, perhaps, by mere chance, and decided their mutual affection for the children, as well as their disdain for the Orican, was a good enough reason to coexist forever as mother and mentor to all the Tenno, but one day, finally finish the job and destroy the Orican from the inside. And who better to go after? I mean, Margulis even warns Ballas beforehand. I believe when she says this. For what? I am not who you think I am. She means she wasn't the Margolis that loved him anymore. And I think the fact that she joined him is something both Margolis and Nata have discussed and maybe even planned to happen. It's possible she even invited him there. After all, we never do get to see before he shows up or how he got there in the first place. And she's space mom. 
More importantly, she's a mother first and foremost. And a mother wouldn't willfully force her children to watch her leave without a reason. She wanted us to see that for a purpose. That's what I believe, at least. But what do you believe? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really excited to find out what's coming next. I love this story stuff, this, especially the main campaign stuff. These are the best quests. At any rate, take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, and I'll talk at you in the next one. Bye.